everyone, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, welcome back to the ESC Scott YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be having a little look at one of my ve mo most loved national finals. It is Festival de Cancel, which is Portugal's national final for Eurovision 2024. Yeah, so I'm going to have a little look at the recap of all the songs competing in this year's competition, see what ones stand out to me, which ones do I think have the potential to represent Portugal at Eurovision 2024. So without further ado, let's play the intro. <laughs> So I ain't gonna lie, I have like a really um, love-hate relationship with Festival de Cannes I actually have a love-hate relationship with Portugal and Eurovision. I, abs I, I either love the entry or absolutely 100% don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly nervous to be honest. I'm always nervous for this national final. I've not heard like overly like uh, there's a winner amongst these bunch, but I will see for myself. I don't know how many songs there actually are. I think it's around 20 or 22, because I think it's like 10 or 11 that compete in each semi-final. Yeah, I, I am excited, but I'm equally nervous. I loved last year. I loved Icorosau. I loved Mimi Cat. She was definitely the front runner in the final. Glad she won. Glad she got to Eurovision. And she should come back. I know it's been I know it's only been a year, but she it's 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 not soon enough. But let's try this. We've got five minutes of um this recap to watch. Um so let's have a little look. Let's do it. Come on. Bispo. What a name. Casa Portuguesa. This is one thing I love about Portugal's national final. There's hardly any English in there. There is the odd few, but they really use the language. I didn't really get a lot of that first one. Let me try that again. I mean... Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Rain a little bit. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's okay. Iolanda, Grito. Okay. Power Ballad, maybe. It's okay. I hate listening to recaps. Hate it. Okay, this seems sweet. I think after Salvador, they kind of overused the ballads. Like, they have so many ballads in this national final. It's a bit... Okay, I'm grooving. Peles Costuras. I'm grooving. This one seems okay. Okay. Agua. So, I'm assuming that that means water. I, I might be wrong, but I'm assuming. Mela. Okay, this seems a bit more upbeat. Fun. Okay, I like that one. Mila. I like the guitar in this one. Mm. Nena. Yeah, these songs aren't for me. These ones are like, no. We get a lot of them in this national final as well. Memory. Okay, we've got some English. I think this might be our first English one. Uh. Okay, got a group. Perpetua. Mmm, okay, that adds a bit of like a disco vibe to it. Didn't not hate that one. Pontos Finas, Rita. Okay, this doesn't seem bad. I need to listen to these in full though, I will do that in my own time. I've got another Curacao. I mean, a lot of these songs just sound so similar to me, not just because they're ballads, just because they're all about the same thing as well. Primavera. This sounds a little bit different. You can't hide. 
As I say, we do get a few English ones. The English ones are never really great, though. Pedichoro. I think this, this is the one thing I love about Portugal as well, is they're not afraid to send something that other countries wouldn't. They do send risks. Like, I, I would say Icarus I was a risk. Like, it was definitely... It was different. And a lot of these songs are just so... Not what I would expect to be sent to Eurovision. Um... Yeah, Portugal kind of steps over the line and kind of dips their toe into the water of what they can send. This is like one of the examples. I wouldn't be surprised if Portugal sent something like this. Love the guitar in it as well. Quarto pram um. Okay, this seems a bit more up-tempo, but fun. Oh! I'm grooving. I'm grooving. Dia, die, die. Okay, I hope that's not the whole song. But <laughs> that that was intriguing. Dia. Oh. Okay. That was interesting as well. These are getting progressively better now. Okay, a sitar, and a sudade as well, bloody hell. That was, that was okay, that one. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Oh, I've got some jazz, some blues. Some swing. Oh. If the lyrics were any better, I mean, it's only 20 second recap, but. I'm a bit like. When you listen to a recap of 20 songs in it, you, you're kind of bombarded with all these songs and you know one of them's gonna win, and I'm just trying to think what what's happening. What one of, what ones were like standing out to me? Portugal always surprises me. See, when there isn't like a clear front runner, I. I I wouldn't ever, ever, ever put a bet on it because I don't know who would win at all. I have no inkling. I have no idea. This is the problem here. I'm trying to go through them. I'm now kind of scrolling through the little time bar we've got and I'm struggling to remember a few of them. Um, yeah, Some of them are really not that memorable, which is always a bit of a worry. I think this was the first one that intrigued me a little bit. Pelas Costuras. This had a different sound to it. It was quite interesting to me. Yeah, it has that kind of that, that harsh beat in it. I like that. This one, the Primavera, seemed the most Portuguese to me. Which is... If the song sounds Portuguese, this means that Portugal is probably going to love it. To me, this sounds very Portuguese. I just get a vibe that the juries will love this Primavera song. Yeah, again, this one sounds quite Portuguese. This one sounds like it, sh it really does belong in Festival of the Cannes style. Um, I like this one. I'm going to listen to this one in full. I think... It was, it's very mellow, but I think that's why it sounds unique to me. I need to translate the lyrics. It seems interesting, that one. For some reason, I don't know why, but it seems interesting. This one was just fun. Doce Mistiero. This one is interesting. He's just saying, die, die, die. It was interesting. This one as well, as I say, when it got to the end, there was a, a few interesting ones. This one, it was interesting as well. Dia by Maria. How do you pronounce that? The J-O-A-O, -O, but the accent over the A. I mean, yeah, there was a few in there that kind of interested me, intrigued me. I think th there is a lot of duds in this national final, though there is a few that are like, oh, and it's usually the English ones, I won't lie, like the ones that are English in the Portuguese national final are like... But that wasn't bad. There's definitely some um, great songs in there, I think, that I'm going to have a little listen to now. We have to see them live, though. I think everything changes once they get on a stage and they've got some staging. And something usually stands out when we see it live. You can't just base it off the studio tracks. It is all down to the live performances, which will be happening very, very, very soon. So we can't wait for that. But yeah, tell me what you think. What performances stood out to you from the Portuguese national final this year? Tell me down below in the comments. We'll have a little conversation about it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've just surpassed 1,000 subscribers and I'm so excited for the year ahead.
we are going to Malmo. I am heading to Malmo. I've also got a, a few other people that are going to be helping with the content, which is so, so, so exciting. Um, and I'm really, really stoked for it. So subscribe if you're ready for some amazing Eurovision content this year. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.